Summer 2023 begins this week, which means your corn crop is on the verge of its massive growth period. You're on the ground today with Rob Seco. I'm Todd Clawson. We're in southwest Iowa today. Corn is V7, almost V8, and uh, nodal crown root formation is, is moving pretty decently, although it's very dry out here. This crop is on the verge of really, really taking off and moving rapidly. But it's under duress, it's under stress. And think about the crop condition in the Corn Belt today, north to south, east to west. And we have varying levels of stress going on out there today, depending on where you are. This particular region right here, right here is pretty stressful. 10 day forecast is 87 to 94 degrees. Not much rainfall in sight. We wanna help mitigate that stress, mitigate that stress, I should say, using a fungicidal compound. Fungicide's purpose is to control fungal disease. How much fungal disease are you going to have in warmer than average conditions and drier than average conditions? Not very much. But we want to use these fungicides because of their plant health capability. Let's walk you through that quickly. We're talking about the strobilurin chemistries and possibly the SDHI chemistries. Strobilurins are class 11, SDHIs are class 7. We know the strobilurin chemistries do two things. One, they slow the respiration rate because that's how they control fungal disease. Number two, they also initiate a compound known as nitrate reductase, which helps reduce nitrate, which is NO3, into usable N and then oxygen. But we want to focus on we want to focus on respiration inhibition. Okay? Respiration is a dark reaction to photosynthesis. We're sitting out here today. It's 9 a.m. This crop is trying to take up the moisture that is in the soil today. It's, it's taking moisture up out of the soil into the roots, up and out the leaf tissue as hydrogen and oxygen. That water is going to exchange hydrogen and oxygen with the atmosphere. It's going to bring in carbon dioxide. Solar radiation is going to hit those chlorophyll platelets. It's going to excite those electrons. And that carbon dioxide is going to turn into a simple carbon sugar, carbohydrate, photosynthate. That's the light reaction. So the accumulation of that sugar all day then will be the energy source for the dark reaction. And the dark reaction is when the sun goes down, it will then be the respiration period. Respiration is now the utilization of the sugar that accumulated all day. Using the strobilurin and SDHI fungicide compounds can slow the respiration rate because that's how they control fungal disease. They will also have a respiration inhibition effect on botanical biological crops. We know for a fact that it slows down the respiration rate. If it slows down the respiration rate, the dark reaction of photosynthesis, if it slows that down, it's more efficient. You have more utilization and greater efficiency of the sugar that you accumulated all day. I think about it in this term. Think about it and answer this question in your head. Will you grow more corn if the nighttime temperatures are 72 or 60 degrees? Most farmers will say 72 degrees because they correlate heat with energy, and that's not the case. That heat or GDUs is simply the indicator of the rate of reaction, both chemical or chemistry and or biological. Reaction rates will take place faster the warmer that it is. So the warmer the overnight temperatures are, the faster that respiration process will take place and you'll lose more energy. So we want to slow it down. And we can slow it down with these fungicide products. Strobilurins in particular and SDHIs maybe secondarily. No, they don't lower the ambient temperature, but they make the respiration process, the utilization of sugar that was accumulated all day, that they utilize during the dark reaction tonight, they'll slow that down and they'll create a greater efficiency. In stressful periods, especially as you forecast out for, for, for stress, high heat and dry conditions, we can mitigate that stress by using a fungicide on your crop out in front of those stress periods. You got questions about this or anything else on your farm, agronomically, crop production wise, please reach out to us, we're happy to help. You've been on the ground today with Rob Seco. I'm Todd Clausen.